People hate you for one of four reasons, or probably all four. Number one, they want to be you. They tried their best to do what you're doing, but it didn't work for them. They tried their best to walk like you, talk like you, sing like you, swag like you, pray like you, preach like you, dress like you, do everything you do. They see what you post, now they mimic your post. They saw what you wanted to do, now they saw all of a sudden want to start a nonprofit because they want to be you. The problem is they don't realize you sometimes don't want to be you. I didn't pick who I am, what you see, God made me. Do you know how many times I ran from being who I am? I didn't pick this, it picked me. They want to be you. They want to be you. Number two, they hate themselves. They are not satisfied with who they are. So in return, they look for people who look satisfied and they attack you. See, bitter people, when they hear other people say stuff about you, and yet they know enough to correct them, they just sit there and be like, there's one thing to want to take you out, but certain people get to a point where they realize they can't take you out. So now they just sit around waiting to see who can. Number three, they see you as a threat. They see you as a threat. You ain't did nothing to them, but they see you coming. I would like to make a public service announcement that if anybody desires to knock you down, they better do hit me with their best shot, hit you with their best shot, because I'm coming. Ooh, 75 people out of type, I'm coming. It may take me another year, but you better believe I'm coming. I am on my way to becoming what God has called me to be. Number one, they want to be you. Number two, they hate themselves. Number three, they see you as a threat. Number four, they hate the way others love you. You saw so-and-so did so-and-so, they be killing it. Don't it? it ain't all that. I mean, y'all treat them like they Jesus. They hate the way others love them. Saul was bitter.